it's going on. So we stopped in the Basin Street Station. So essentially, what this is, this historic building right here, it was actually the turnaround point in uh, New Orleans. For first, it was the, the barges that went on the Canal Street to get the goods in, then came the trains. And this was the, the central spot where they'd come in, um, unload all their goods, turn around and head back out to the bay. Um, I didn't realize that, uh, I mean, some people may know this a lot more than me, but New Orleans, just because it has that protected uh, bend in the, in the ocean and then the barges can come up, like it's actually still a huge hub. For example, in the Midwest, we have a lot of grain, a lot of corn, and they can put those on barges, bring them all the way down uh, the Mississippi, you know, for me, it's, I'm from um, a tributary on the Mississippi. It's the Wabash River to the Ohio River, and that leads into the Mississippi. So all that grain, if they do want to put it on barges, it actually comes through New Orleans. And that's how it got started way back in the day. It just had a very strategic spot on the water, which a lot of historic cities, you know, they've always had to have that, that spot on the water. So here, they have a bunch of historic things from that era. You can see right here, those that see the, the Alaskan Railroad symbol from my previous videos, that is the Southern Railroad. It's the front of an old engine. And this building actually was a dilapidated building until somebody had the idea to change it into a welcome center. So you can see all the different routes here. And as I was mentioning, I'm from close to here and the tributary, the Wabash River, runs all the way down to the tributary of the Mississippi River. So that's pretty cool. You went through all this stuff. We need to get downtown, huh, G? Yep, we got stuff to do. I've been here for a while. <laughs> yeah, we just, we planned on just being here for a couple minutes. And pretty cool in here. So we're gonna head back towards downtown. This is a cemetery right next to the resort. You have to have a guided uh, tour guide with you. Does that count as a swear jar, G? Sorry, I thought someone was like gonna Very beautiful downtown New Orleans. And again, you're on GoPro, so you can't see that far ahead of you. But we're starting to get into the historical district. So, G, what do you think of New Orleans so far? Um, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I don't know. How are you overwhelmed? I don't know where to go. I don't know what to eat. I don't know what to do. I don't know. There's just so much to look at. <laughs> we happened to come across Bourbon Street. We didn't even mean to find it, but we did. I gotta take some pictures of it. You excited to be on Bourbon Street, G? So this is Bourbon Let's Street. Drink food. Oh my gosh. You want to? Street, G. I was overwhelmed and I'm hungry. Uh oh, she's getting hungry, so gotta get that figured out. Gonna, you wanna hop on? Yeah. Pull, pull GP. Alright, ready? I'm kind of heavy, DC. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm kind of heavy, DC. <laughs> what are we in here for, G? Mufanada? Whatever it is, we need to get going. Hole. Hole? You think we need that? 
We're going to be drinking. We're pretty hungry. We'll save it for later, too. A oh, whole sounds good. All right, G, you excited? Yeah, I'm This is like going to be our lunch, dinner, and breakfast. Goodness gracious. I told you should have got a half. Mm-mm. We'll save it for tomorrow because we have to try other food here, too. That's true. Let's see what you think. Good? <laughs> Ready, G? Excuse me. had that awesome New Orleans sandwich. What do you think, G? It was awesome. Now we're going to the lighthouse. We're going to get our vouchers printed for the, uh, for the tour we're going to do. Catch y'all there. I haven't been to Vegas, remember? What's up? I said I haven't been to Vegas. Now we're waiting on the, uh, the tour to start. You excited, you? Yes. Yeah. We got our vouchers. It's like a wet scrub puppy, but it's fine. That happens. It is very, very foggy, as you can see out there. But we'll be doing this for the next two and a half hours. Like, it's a oh, history yeah. slash it's drink. Long. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. Yeah. So, as I mentioned before, I think I'll be switching over to the Nikon from here on out. Um, well, what I might do is when we're outside, oops, this is just the water. Um, whenever we're outside, I'll be uh, filming with the uh, with this. And whenever we go into the bars, I'm gonna put the mic on the Nikon, and then hopefully, be able to get some great videos and photos doing that. So, G, you're gonna be in charge of GP. Okay, that sounds like a great idea. You sure? You sure you can handle him? Of course I can. GP and I spent the weekend together in California. Remember? What a difference a Nikon D610 and a 14-24 lens makes, huh, G? Yeah. I need anything to help this right now. Oh, gee. You're still a pretty girl. I'm looking scrubby. It's okay. It was you still have a great personality. I'm gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> bless your heart. What, what, what they say um, here, here in the South whenever somebody doesn't look too good? Bless your, bless you, your heart. That's what they or was it bless, bless their soul? Bless your soul. Bless your soul. <laughs> they were so funny. Yeah, they were great. So we, I think we're getting the group all together. We're going to be heading out soon. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very you much. You should be the last one, huh? Uh, yep. I will tell you. So we just started the tour. Met the tour leader. I still haven't got... I still haven't asked her if I could film yet. I was going to ask first. But I went ahead and chugged my first drink. Just so I could get some filming done. How's the first drink, G? check it out. Let's get some food. Gooch. G. Yeah. What did you think of the tour? I thought it was the best time ever. Now what's the plan? We're going to eat because we haven't eaten. We basically haven't eaten. Okay, we have those muffalettas, the Mufasas, at like three. I am the hungriest bear. Are you feeling good, G? I yes. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, babe. Are we going to the Acme Oyster Company? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I don't know where we are. <laughs> you probably look at your phone before you start walking out in the rain, huh? <laughs> are you wasty face? No. Are but you I'm, lying? No, but I'm hungry. Oh, man. It's just as bad. My tummy is grumbling as we speak. What is it called? Acne? Yeah. Acne Oyster House. So I don't know how well in focus I am. I'm sorry if I'm not in focus, but we had an absolutely amazing time on this tour. We met some amazing people and had some great, great drinks. Had a couple, couple, you know, bites to eat. But now we're gonna go to this oyster bar. I'm gonna put this underneath my coat, and we'll catch you all there. We have a holiday rambler right oh. on Bourbon Street. Oh dear. I do not see how people do that. That is very cocky. So right now we're on uh, Bourbon Street. We're trying to find the Acme Oyster Bar. Bourbon. We're going on to Iberville. It's on this one. All right, let's go. Oh, I do see it. Oh, I see it, right up there, Acme. Excited for some oysters, G. Um, Time How many of these you go through each day, you think? Each day we have us about six to ten pounds of oysters. Really? Yeah, we're going to the ice. That's we, awesome. We're doing big. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. You're very happy. I don't even you know how to eat. Anything like water, you show you like spice, you doesn't. Absolutely. You try it, you smoke, you just pull me on, just a couple of drops on it. Awesome. Thank you. How do I eat it? I just like... All right, G, what do we have here? <laughs> You're already going after it, huh? Charcoal oysters, I think. I don't know. Do I just, like, scoop it off? Okay. I'm so excited. Your first oyster ever. I just, I just eat it? Is it hot? You like it? Swear jar. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, do that happen. I like want to eat the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That is so good. I know, I told you. I told you I promise you. 
<laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we'll have to use that as the thumbnail of the video. Yeah, for sure. Geez, gee, I can't even get the camera out. You're eating away. I'm hungry. <laughs> How is it? Real good. What'd you get? Um, I got a little bit of everything. I got some gumbo, uh, jambalaya. I think, and some red beans and rice because it's what they're known for. Good? Yeah. And I got the uh, Peacemaker Po' Boy. It that is fried is shrimp, shrimp and oysters with a little bit of a melody. So, we'll get to it. What's the plan right now, G? We're gonna go get some beignets. Let me is put it, it in my phone. Is it that way? I don't know. Burr. It's had the best oyster meal ever. Ever, ever. Oh, yeah. We're gonna turn the left on the table. Oh, yeah. Mom's What'd gonna you get, love G? It. I got my mom this cutie little hat that she requested. Mom requested I get her a hat. Oh, that's really cool. Alrighty, G, where we at? <laughs> <laughs> you breathe in. He wasn't in. supposed to breathe in. in. Cafe, Cafe du Monde. The original French market coffee stand. So what do we have right here? Beignets. Beignets? Yeah, watch. Explain a beignet for me. And explain how you're supposed to eat them. Um, it's basically like terrible for you, but I don't care. It's a fried donut, um, I think, and it's covered in powdered sugar. And you're supposed to like hold your breath and eat them because if you don't, then powdered sugar can get everything. So right now we're trying to decide if we're going to the to uh, Frenchman Street or just going home to wake up tomorrow to explore and New run. Orleans. Run to work this stuff off. We'll see. Reminiscent about your past, G? No. I didn't do that shit. Swear jar. What's the plan for the rest of the night, young lady? I think we're gonna go home. We're being lame. We had a great day drinking, and we're gonna try and wake up early and run in the early mornings of New Orleans, which is much more beneficial than going out and getting drunk. Even more so. We've got great food, great drinks. Time to go back to the RV and set the electricity up, shower, dump the tanks. What were you gonna ask her, G? Oh. So this place <laughs> actually lives up to their reputation. It's actually fairly cheap. Um, we got three French donuts for basically two fifty, and our server was awesome. He's a cool guy. I talked to him for a little bit, but we're being lamos and then heading back to the RV. Yeah, because we want to run. Well, G wants to run. I need to work out. All this fried food tonight and all the beer I need to make up for it somehow. So let's get back to the resort, young lady. How was your first day in New Orleans, G? I'm sleepy. Did it take it out of you? It took it all out of me. What was your favorite part? Mm, the cocktail tour. That was pretty cool. What was the was so most surprising part about New Orleans? I thought it was dirtier. Like I heard that it was like really dirty, and I was expecting like rats on the streets. It was not that dirty. What was your least favorite part? I have to say, my favorite part, once again, it is the south, but the people, again, were in a tourist area, so yeah. they may have 
felt the need to be nice, but it seems like everybody's super nice here. They were super nice. That was my favorite. Uh, my biggest surprise was the food. Oh, I wasn't surprised. I heard it was amazing. Well, every time I've been here, I've been eating like the cheapest, like back road places. So oh. this is the first time eating like say at the Acme Oyster House. First time I ate there, and it was just amazing. It was and my least favorite part. <clears throat> if I had to pick, I'd say the rain, but it really wasn't that bad. No, it kind of made the day. Like, it was just part of our day in New Orleans, it being rainy. Yeah, true. Um, I have to say the... I don't have a least favorite part. Yeah, I don't think I have a least favorite part. My least part. favorite part is that I'm too tired and I can't hang. My least favorite part's going to be in a couple hours we have to wake up tomorrow early and run. Church. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Catch you later.